Okay guys, today I will be teaching you how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.5. This is a semi-tethered jailbreak, meaning every time your battery dies or you reboot your device, you will have to do the whole jailbreak process again in order to get your device up and running. So, to check that you are on to check that you are on 4.3.5 firmware, go to settings, general, about, and search for the version and it should be 4.3.5. Okay guys, so go ahead and click the home button and plug in your device. Okay, so I have two links in my description. One is to Retsno 0.9.8 bit of 54 Windows. <coughs> Sorry guys. And your your 4.3.4 supported your 4.3.4 IPSW for your supported device. I know that our iPod is on 4.3.5, but we need to jailbreak this with the 4.3.4. Okay guys, so let's start. Go ahead and right click Retsno and run as administrator to avoid any problems. So go ahead and click yes. Go ahead and browse for your 4.3.4 IPSW. This jailbreak is supported by iPhone, iPod, and iPad. So go ahead and double click your firmware. Let it process the firmware. Once it gives you IPSW successfully identified, go ahead and hit next. Let it patch the kernel. Okay, so okay, so once it's done patching the kernel, go ahead and check install Cydia. And um, this is on you. If you want to enable battery percentage, uh, I think that's a gold tweak. I'll leave that on. And I do want to enable multitask gestures. So go ahead and hit next after you're done select selecting what you want. And we're going to put our device into DFU mode. What DFU mode is, um, you have to hold the power button on top and for three seconds and then hold the home button together for 10 seconds and then release the power button on top and continue holding the home button for 15 more seconds or until Retsno Retsno recognizes your device in DFU mode so once you are ready go ahead and click next also Retsno also has instructions so go ahead and click next and we're going to be putting our device into DFU mode so hit next so power button for 3, 2, 1 combine with the home button for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three two one release the power button and continue holding the home button for 15 more seconds or until retsno recognizes your device and it should be saying jailbreaking and waiting for ipod touch 4g and right now you will get a white screen don't worry nothing's gonna happen to your ipod okay so there is your white screen let it upload the jailbreak data and when finally when it says rebooting on Retsno right here it will give you a lettering text so I will be back until then okay guys so finally you have gotten your lettering text alright so I will be back until your iPod is finished rebooting also through the next process you will see a little Retsno pineapple it's just say installing custom bundles and all that stuff so I will be back until the iPod touch is finished rebooting Okay guys, so my iPod Touch has finished rebooting. So let's go ahead and try to open Cydia. Alright, as you see Cydia has a white icon. That means we have to do the whole jailbreak process again to get it normal color. And you see if you open it, it will crash as well as your Safari. So to fix this problem, go ahead and open up Red Snow again. Click Run. Go ahead and click Browse. And browse for your 4.3.4 IPSW. Double click it. Let it process the firmware. IPSW successfully identified. Let it patch the kernel. Okay, guys, so this time, instead of checking install CETA and enable battery percentage, this time uncheck everything and just check just boot tethered right now. Sorry for the noise in the background, guys. Alright, so plug in your device and go ahead and we're going to put into DFU mode again. So go ahead and click in next. You do not need to power off your device, so go ahead and follow Retsnail's instructions. So, power button for 3, 2, 1, combined with the home button for 10 seconds. So, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release the power button and continue holding the home button for 15 more seconds or until Retsnail recognizes your device. So, it should be saying jailbreaking, waiting for iPod Touch 4G. You will get a white screen right now. This is perfectly fine and you should get this pineapple so I will be back until it finished rebooting. 
Okay guys, so my iPod Touch has rebooted and this time if you open up Sega, it will have its original color and it should be working fine guys. So rate, comment, subscribe and I hope you enjoy your jailbreak.